Linda Halligan, and this is Hollywood's Top 10. Marilyn Monroe, the character, plays an important role in the Kennedy's eight-part movie event, premiering April 3rd only here on Reels Channel, TV about movies. So we decided to count down your favorite Marilyn Monroe movies. At number 10, Marilyn Monroe's a newlywed plotting to kill her husband on her honeymoon in Niagara. Number 9, she's a hat check girl with a voice getting in the way of a family act in There's No Business Like Show Business. At 8, she's a saloon singer breaking bad news to the cowboy who wants to marry her in Bus Stop. In your number 7 movie, Marilyn's a clumsy American impressing Balkan royalty in The Prince and the Showgirl. At 6, she questions whether men make passes at girls who wear glasses and how to marry a millionaire. And we see her in one of her earliest important roles at number five as an actress in All About Eve. In your number four spot, she plays a depressed divorcee in her final movie role in The Misfits. Your number three pick features that iconic scene Marilyn is most remembered for, The Seven Year Itch. And at number two, she reminds the guys that diamonds are a girl's best friend in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. And now for the Marilyn Monroe movie you love the most. She's part of a traveling all-girls band, and she's getting friendly with two new members. So she thinks. Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon are pretending to be women and falling for her and your number one pick, Some Like It Hot. I have this thing about saxophone players, especially tenor sax. Really? I don't know what it is, but they just curdle me. All they have to do is play eight bars or come to me, my melancholy baby. And my spine turns to custard. I get goose pimply all over. And I come to him. That's all? Every time. You know, I play tennis, I act. But you're a girl, thank goodness. Oh, yeah. That's why I joined this band. Safety first. Anything to get away from those bums. Yeah. You don't know what they're like. You fall for them. You really love them. You think this is going to be the biggest thing since the Graf Zeppelin. The next thing you know, they're borrowing money from you. They're spending it on other dames and betting on horses. You don't say. Then one morning you wake up, the guy's gone, the saxophone's gone. All that's left behind is a pair of old socks and a tube of toothpaste, all squeezed out. So you pull yourself together. You go on to the next job, the next saxophone player. It's the same thing all over again. You see what I mean? Not very bright. Brains aren't everything. <laughs> That one had to be number one. We had a number of people write on our Facebook page about this movie. Vicki W. from Kaiser, Oregon writes, Some like it hot without a doubt. Not only was Marilyn at her sweet, hilarious best, but having Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon in drag was absolute genius. They made that movie timeless. I try to watch it every time I see that it's going to be on. As you may have guessed, Marilyn Monroe has millions of fans all around the world. Greg Schreiner is the president of one of her fan clubs called Marilyn Remembered. Well, Some Like It Hot, I think, gave Marilyn a chance to really shine. She played Sugar Cane in the movie, and it was sort of the typical dumb blonde, but she brought such a presence and wit and humor and, I think, intelligence to the role that it became one of her most beloved roles. Yes, it certainly did. That's all of the Blonde Bombshell you get for today. Sorry. For more information on any of these movies, head to our website, reels.com slash top 10. You can also vote there for our upcoming countdowns. Plus, go to our Facebook page right now and let us know what you'd like to see on our show. Not just topics, but more interviews, more trivia, more info about stars. This is a show for you, so tell us what you want. And remember to follow us on Twitter.